cool this gun is dampness. It looks like Blue Monday, but it isn't. It's Friday. It's just that I forgot to white balance the shot to color correct. I didn't color correct. Ice blue for extra strength. There's always room at the end. Flee. Frisco. I guess that's supposed to make me feel at home. Oh well. Stopping. What's he get? What's he get? What's the matter? You want to get laid? The um, cup of coffee is 25 cents at the Bowling Alley. Want some company? Night comes here too much and too soon. Ooh, elongated anvils over in Texas. That's where it's happening, baby. The five-day forecast. I'd better hurry up back to the dump and uh, and plop down some goodies. but uh, popping up all over the place. Spring is busting out all over. Is that raspberries? The strongest storms were in an area 50 miles wide located between El Reno and Broken Arrow. Get out of there. The strongest storms were in the Edmond area. See it? is 
gotten rather frosted as I prepare for evening at Motel Hell. Ugh, it's like going under a guillotine. I had to make a homemade lampshade to use to shield my eyes from the glare when I... Oh, what's this? What a statement. You see, I gotta keep that damn thing on because when the light goes out, the contrast goes down on the friggin' TV. And the color, you see the color fades when the, when the light goes off. Not that I care that much about Magnum PI. I can't lose this key, my key to happiness. While I'm eating, I, I like to, I hope that makeshift thing doesn't attract lightning from the thunder. Those things are never on schedule. Oklahoma soil. <clears throat> the red oit. Maybe I ought to turn that damn thing off and put on the Mandrell sisters, huh? This is a particularly dangerous situation with the possibility of very damaging tornadoes. All right, all right. Put your money where your mouth is and shut up. I know where to get some action. Hot action at the flick of a switch. That's right, this is near Frederick. There's the wall cloud, very large wall cloud. This is the back when it's just uh, southeast of the Frederick area. And here we look at this, speeding up here. This is the development of a funnel cloud. Randy Renner's out there, Rich Kriegel. You see this, this, this Larry right in here? We're going to run this three times. This is rotating around the back side. Here it goes, wrapping up. We're uh, eight miles east, eight miles east of Frederick, looking to the north. Look at the rotation coming around. Here we go again. You have uplift motion, and you see rotation develop. Good circulation in this particular area, and it could have uh, touched down just a little bit in that particular area. This whole uh, entire episode here only lasts about 20 seconds to show you how they come and go relatively quickly. But you know, to get someone in position like this uh, and, and film and tape something like this, it, it takes an entire uh, team effort. It's news and it's weather and, it's hard to say sports, but it's news and it's weather and it's production and it's engineering. It's a big deal, sweetheart, to get one of those on tape. And I ain't staying up till 4 a.m. just because of this tornado watch. Nothing's happening out there anyway. Uh oh, excuse me. on the street when the weather eased up and I went out to get a chicken fried steak. A ray of sunshine amid water stains and potential cholesterol calamity. Keep trim, beautiful people, keep trim. Fear not the passing darkness. Fui! Happy, happy, happy. The telephone lines sing to thee.
did that thing. Be free, my children. No. No, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck like me. Come on. You'll rot over there and become encrusted with something that looks like green cellulite. Yeah. Oh, dear Lord, the night cometh. the moon. It's activating my cravings. What's happening at Weather Central? Mm. A terrible twister touches down near Tulsa. And a behind-the-scenes look at TV9, Storm Busters in action. Oh, come on, where's the music? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Storm Busters. Western. Twister was caught on home video by two different people near Broken Arrow in the Tulsa era area. There were no injuries reported in this tornado. There was some damage, though, to two neighborhoods near Broken Arrow. There was one injury in another tornado today in Claremore. It's Friday night, changing of the guard. Oh, where are you? It's Friday night, it's a jungle out there. Come on, Tracy, join the party. That a girl. Oh boy, this is where it's happening, baby. Some sex object. You know, I am very disappointed in you. I am too, it's the humidity. Rector hairdo. Boy, take a look at mine. We know 50% of the time there's going to be a tornado. So. If you warned every one of those times, you'd have a lot of false warnings. So face the facts. Maybe only your hairdresser knows for sure. Yes, I see a tornado coming down, or no, I do not see a tornado coming down. A question for a bird brain. Birdie, what do you see? Oh, yeah, I agree, because tomorrow I'm going to need some energy because it's going to be a nice day to visit uh, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. I got hit in the back. Fine. How's business? Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, good. Pretty good. We've been here for two weeks now. Uh-huh. So how do you like everything? Fine. Hi, Ruth. You like your hair now? Oh, it looks great here. I met Gloria when she used to run this motel. I had spent so many memorable hours locked away from the humidity and from the storms in that basement, but now her mother teaches her here? No, no, now I just know the retail end of it. Oh. She knows the hair business. I know the retail business. It's important for me to get out of my room, to, to relive the past, to see what the future has to offer, what new products are on the market. To... So what do you think? Wow, it looks nice. So, who's at the motel? Is it just me? Just you, and one other man. Oh, I see him once in a while. He seems like a nice guy. He goes to work real early in the morning. Mm. He goes to work like four. Does all the cooking for McDonald's. Oh, is that it? Mm -hmm. Oh, which McDonald's? Down here on Sunset. <clears throat> oh, on Sunset? On I country, go in there. Country Club. Oh, I go in there. Which McDonald's? George, we only have one McDonald's in town. Oh, he's the chef? Yep. Oh. Biscuit maker. Let's get a look at him. That's him. What do you think? Looks like he's got bullet holes on the side of his car. Usually he's pretty quiet. I wonder what he's got in the trunk of his car. Yeah, let's get back to Gloria. She's waiting. All right, Gloria, uh, show me the uh, what you got. Okay, George, I'll basically go through it right quick. This is all your shampoos, 
hair treatments, conditioners right here. And then this is all your hairspray, your mousses, and your styling gel on this section. And then down here is your barber shop. Oh. Barber shop supplies. That kind of stuff I got, but I need something to combat um, fungus. You got that in your shop called... Uh, What's it called? Professional Touch and Curfews. It's a good name, Professional Touch and Curfews. They're gonna smell like roses. What else you got, Gloria? Nail care, lipstick liners, eyeliners, hand lotion. We've got a, uh, a knockoff for Clinique. Uh huh. Which is what? your Clinique is a high line of your skin products, like uh -huh. your toners, moisturizers, and everything. Uh huh. Okay, over here is gonna be your uh, implements. You got curling irons, uh, supplies. Hair dryers, curling irons, rubber gloves, and also I'm gonna do ear piercing. Oh. Have my own ear piercing. So you can come by and I'll pierce your ears. Oh, thank you, Gloria. This right here is for swimmers during the summer. This is a special. Uh-huh. Because you're in the chlorine water a lot. Ooh, what does that do? Uh... It takes the chlorine out of your hair, so it won't turn green. Oh. I think gray and green match, though. Over here in this section, we have all your hair color, your dyes, your permanent dyes, temporary dyes, and your peroxide and your bleach. And your tints. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll move over here. These are your permanents, your permanent waves, and also some more hair coloring. Got just about every kind of permanent wave that you need. Wow. Very reasonable. These are the rods and stuff that go with the permanent waves. Your rollers, your cotton, your picks, your mirrors. And this is also one line of clothing that I'm going into. This is a great Southwest look. Ooh. The Navajo look. Okay, George. All this area is called your ethnic group. We have your ethnic perms, your greases, your shampoos, your permanent waves, your activators, complete line of your ethnic group. Uh-huh. Okay? Okay. Ready? Let's go over here and we'll zoom in on the uh, Paul Mitchell. This is an exclusive line, only sold in beauty shops only. Uh-huh. We've got the full line of it. You've got your Hawaiian mist, your shampoos, conditioners, complete line of Paul Mitchell. Uh-huh. And then over here we have your Redken, Redken products. Uh-huh. Got your hairsprays, right? Conditioners, shampoo, and moisturizers. Wow. Complete line of Redken. Boy, you're well stocked, Gloria. Well stocked. And uh, that way you don't have to drive 30 miles to the city, what you can get here. Fantastic. Very good prices, too. Thanks, Gloria, for the tour. Okay, George, come back. All right, uh, bye, Ruth. Bye. Uh, good night. Back and see us. Okay. I love it. Ah, oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. It's the humidity. You see my bald head sweating? It's not the heat, it's the humidity, huh? Hey, do you get mail? What? Do you get mail? I got one from Beverly Hills, a letter from Beverly Hills. You know what that is? Well, it don't look like this dumpy, I tell you. We are off to. What? We are off to. My house? Oh. Oh. All right, lucky devil, see ya. Bye. It's like being in a TV sitcom on the Nashville network. It's all that. Country bumpkin music. Mm. Uh, the outside world. Well, actually, the, the outside world doesn't have as many sweet sounding birds like out here, at least my outside world. Doesn't chirp as nicely. Even rope can't hold back what expands inside me. Ugh. Wait, I burned it. Single night.
cushions me. I don't know what I'd do without it. I wouldn't be able to step out in the darkness. I hope it doesn't fall victim to the hot pussy cat. What's it want to get laid to? Hey, sweetheart, everyone's asleep except us. I'm going to get out of here. I got that Band-Aid on my foot. So now I can hobble out in the real world and butter up the nation's bread basket. No, this wouldn't be on. Oh, you're... it's... it's oh. Hey, you're, oh, you're graduating now? Yeah. How old are you? Twelve. Oh, good. What's this, high school? Seventh grade. Seventh grade? Hi, yeah. Where's Mama? Over there. All right, you want to wanna go down and say hello? Where's your, where's your daddy? Hey, my daddy is close. Hi, Gloria. Hello. Hi, George. Uh, How are you doing? Fine. Oh, you got a nice outfit on. Thank you, thank you. Mother and son. Yes, Let's get to graduation, huh? Right. All right, I'm all set. Oh, well, your mama looks so nice in that dress, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet I can guess who designed that uh, fabric. I wonder if it's a man or a woman. You should ask your mom. Ooh, what do you got on your hair? Spritz. Oh, bad luck, huh? A bad omen. So Jason's getting an award. How's Gloria getting? Uh, it's presented by the American Legions, and your classmates vote on it. And it's uh, like, sort of like the most likely to succeed out of his class. So where's your glasses? Where's your eyeglasses? I have my contacts in. All the better to see the frontier, to taste a bit of the old west. You need uh, change, Gloria? No, I got everything. Got it. That's it. Just keep the rest of it. Dr. Pepper? Oh. Oh, that's me. Dr. Pepper. Where's it, Sonny? This is there, Dr. Pepper. One limeade. Oh, limeade. That's right. I get the limeade. There you go. Oh, there it is. Lincoln School. Mm-hmm. What? Is, was he going in early? No. Look at that kid with his hat on backwards and sunglasses. If only I could be that kid again. Someone new going in? That kid is what? Wearing shorts to his graduation? Well, I hope not. I know everybody can't afford expensive stuff, but you can afford a pair of, uh, you know, summer pants. I've got on my Bamba the Elephant Boy slacks. Where'd you get that dress? Oh, I bought it when I was in Dallas. Oh, how is Dallas? Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's her nickname. She spices up the mashed potatoes. What's that, the program notes? Mm -hmm. What does Jason have to do now? Look around for a college? <laughs> Probably a long way from college. Mm -hmm. Junior high. I forgot this was elementary school. I thought this was uh, high school. High school graduation. I finally found a local postcard. There's something from 1908. The Possum Holler School for Inquiring Minds. Very rural. This is certainly more entertainment than I expected, but it would be nice to see some of those pagans hopping it up. Come on, Tubby, do your stuff. That's very good, Gloria. My hair, I hope it doesn't look too bad. These uh, students should possess certain qualities like stamina when you go shopping for goodies at Walmart, and a strong constitution when it's time to take a little fire water to help loosen up.
Well, they were all in a good mood, but I was in pain because I had this horrible blister on my foot. What kind of award did he get? Citizens. Voted by your classmate. Richard Littlehoff is making his request, and he is receiving yep. an award yeah, for As long as he gets up and not me, because I need some of that painkiller. Something from the medicine man. Jason Ballou is receiving the Presidential Academic Fitness Award. Bundled up in designer blankets and earth stones. The mothers squat by the stream of life, searching for embroidered pots that they can fill with hominy grits and gravy, with maybe a dumpling or two. He has the least amount of conduct marks in Mrs. Renfarber's room. He has the Social Studies Award, and he's been on the honor roll three times. They grow up fast and then puff up big. Don't let it happen, Mama. This is Linnea Land. She'd like to say a few encouraging words to the sixth graders. Linnea? You got a award. Yeah, I she did. Son, where rum and pride can be deadly, especially if they're only five for a dollar. Let them die with a hammer in their hand, not a fork. That's what they're singing about anyway. Oh, here are the shoes that gave me the blisters. Thirteen unlucky dollars. The finest from the best the market can be. We can't ask for anything more, can we? Very good. Did George. he pick up his award? Did he pick up his award? First, yep, picked up. Ladies and gentlemen, this does conclude our presentation. Not quite. Here's another postcard. It uh, depicts a historic uh, watering hole from 1917, a Red Cross canteen service. Oh, I'm so proud. When you get right between the legs, you realize how much it takes to nourish the young. How much? What? Three, four, five, six. Six more years to go. Six more years of schooling, you mean? No, four. Of what? What? What have I got? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've lost count already. I've been out here too long. Ooh, that's a weird cloud. They're serrated like a Ruffles potato chip. Come on, get your mind off potato chips. Time to educate yourself on flying saucers. More stimulating reading. Oh, yeah, flying saucers. Search for action. Flying saucers can wait because storms come at 4 a.m. sometimes. Never often enough to make the darkness not so awful. So awful. Summer's here. Summer's coming, where's your bikini? Outside stimulation, you got nice legs. You too, George. <laughs> It's my diet. I have such a hot appetite, but not the heat, the humidity, huh? Yeah. What do you want to do, chow down? I need visitors in this place. New role models to help keep me in shape. She's cheating. Look, it's just an optical illusion with the dress. 
It's just a trick to fool an inquiring mind. Tonight, a 60% chance of thunderstorms, a few possibly severe with locally heavy rain. Hey, hey shut up already. Hey, you want some action? 10 miles an hour. Take this. Friday, a 30% chance of thunderstorms with the high in the lower 80s. If we need action, we know where to look. What kind of candy did you get? Mints. My friends from Wisconsin were passing through, so they visited me here. There's a lot of happening. An historical pamphlet about the past and my future. Here with that little jack-in-the-box. I mean bag. An upper-level storm system over the southwestern U.S. is sending a series of disturbances towards Oklahoma in the southwesterly flow along. This will result in a chance of thunderstorms on Friday and Friday night, and a very good chance on Saturday. Maybe next time, buddy. Maybe next time. Packing up, gang. Packing up and coming home to whatever awaits me. Hey, listen, take care of yourself and uh, don't eat too much, all right? I'm gonna miss that little bugger. It's only 9.15 in the morning, yet uh, take a look at that. The heavenly moisture appears to be coagulating. Yet there's still dew on the grass. This ain't definitely dew on my head, I tell you. Windshield wipers, I'm gonna need them soon. I wonder if that couple in that photo I found made it to safety. I think I'd better head back. It sounds like there'll be more passing darkness. Gee, you know, it ain't looking too good. The APM radar indicates a large, severe thunderstorm from the El Reno area eastward to near Mustang. This storm is producing golf ball to quarter size hail and very heavy rainfall. It is moving towards the east at about 20 miles an hour. I fear for the creatures. For the creatures of the unnatural world out there. Hey doggies, you're gonna get more than just a bath. Uh oh. Uh oh. Listen. Oh, no. Oh, boy. What, are you crazy? Come in out of the hail. Ay, yay, yay. Poor oh, bugger. The place is jumping. The place is jumping. The lightning. I mustn't attract the lightning. Guess they were right this time, but they're warning of tornado development. If only I had the courage of the red men.
tail. Hey, listen, I would have let you in. <laughs> I really would have. Don't be mad. <laughs> Don't be mad. Look, it's clearing up. He doesn't trust me. I really wanted you to come again. <laughs> All right, so maybe it doesn't look like it's going to clear up. Everybody's coming out to do their thing. Stop raining. Oh, good. She's got some mail. I'll regather mine up. It's Frisco tomorrow. Tomorrow, Jack. No need to come back in. I'll be all right. I got that flying saucer book to keep me busy before I leave. 